Every time I get up in the morning, he just follows me around, waiting to see when I'm going to go outside. Hey, Sam. Sam, you ready to go for a walk? Yeah. <laughs> There's the sun coming up back there. Finally starting to peek out from behind the trees. Good morning. Ready to go walking today? I've been going for, let's see here. How long have I been going? 1.39 miles. Had to catch that sunrise real quick. It's looking good. Got Sam here with me. There's Colt over there barking. <laughs> Everybody in this neighborhood has dogs. Everybody. This is a dog lover's paradise. Morning, Nick. All right. Getting to know everybody around here. It's really been uh, remarkable. I lived in South Georgia for 10 years and didn't know most of my neighbors. And there was only 350 plus people living in the town I was living in. And I only knew the ones I worked with for the most part. <laughs> All right, Colt. But yesterday was a nice day. We got a little bit of rest, much needed rest after all the days and days and days of just going, going, going. We went down to Rainbow Spring, got a little swim in. That felt good. I picked up a, a wetsuit at a yard sale yesterday that fit pretty good. It's a little tight, but well, you can see it here. Just had a great time. That wetsuit was perfect for that water. Kept me from being freezing cold. And it was really good for uh, helping me stay a, above the eight foot depth that was in that water. I'm really kind of stifled by the fact that I still don't have any internet that's worth a darn at my house. I haven't been able to get up quite as early in the morning lately as I'd like to to be able to edit some of that video for the, uh, the grass-fed, grass-finished beef footage, but I have a lot of footage to go with it, so it's gonna be it's gonna be good when I do finally get it. So please be patient with me while I fight with Comcast and Verizon and try to get some kind of service out here. Look at that sunrise behind me, that's beautiful. But it's a uh, crisp, cool, late September morning. 2021 great time to get out and get some exercise oh, I just feel like uh, all the energy and life comes right back into me once I get out here on the road do a little working out and uh, I also have that power tower put together so I'm looking forward to trying that thing out a little bit more I realize that I can't do very many pull-ups yet <laughs> Lifting my own body weight has always been a challenge, so we'll uh, we'll start recording some footage of me breaking that thing in and see what I can build up to over the next few weeks. See if we can really put it through the paces and talk about how good that machine is or not. Every day is just a, a new challenge waiting to be opened up right now, trying to figure out what to do next. We got, I still got to get the insurance switched over on RV and vehicles and we still got the truck in the shop. We're still using somebody else's vehicle for now. <sighs> and it's a Monday and I have a lot of things that I need to do today. So I'm looking forward to tackling a few of those early and just get my day started. And I hope you're getting your day started with a good uh, good preparation for your week. Get yourself some exercise. Have yourself a nice breakfast if that's when you prefer to eat. 
you know you don't have to eat three meals a day on this diet you could do two meals a day or one meal a day just make sure you get enough to power your body and it should work out pretty good speaking of which you know i tried supplementing a little bit with some cheese on this diet i've done pretty good with goat cheese in the in the recent past weeks but uh I was uh, move the other day when I was moving everything again from one storage facility to the one on our property. I uh, stopped by a Dollar General with uh, my brother-in-law because he needed to get a few things, and I bought some string cheese while I was there. I can tell you this: I can't eat string cheese <laughs> unless I want to be backed up for the next couple of days, because that's exactly what happened, and my intestines. Uh, have given me enough pain in my life to not want to have to experience any more. And that's exactly what I got from string cheese. But I haven't had that experience with goat cheese. Maybe it's the consistency of the cheese, I don't know. You know, eating string cheese is a bit like biting into a piece of foam rubber. But goat cheese is just real crumbly and soft. So maybe that has a reason for it or its consistency is one of the reasons why it gets you, gets you a little stopped up. But other than that, everything's been going good now that I've been back on meat only. This is a good reminder for you. Eat those right foods, whatever it is that your body responds to the best. And if that happens to be lion diet, God bless you. I'm glad to be here to motivate you in that direction. If that's some other kind of diet and it's working for you, I'm thankful for that too. I just wanna hear people's lives are changing for the better getting out of that lethargy, getting out of that pain, getting out of that discomfort, and moving on with a much happier, younger feeling life, a life of energy, a life of excitement, and a life of being prepared for what's coming next. Because there's always something coming next. But I'll do my best, and we'll see if we can get, it, get, uh, get some of that footage out for you soon on the the meat review until then or until tomorrow really have a great morning and i'll see you then <laughs> i don't know oh there it goes it's getting out for a little spring spring swimming time in the fall spring in the fall <laughs> going How spring in the how's it going He's getting there. Yeah, I, I can. Hey, guys. Yep. <laughs> hey, look, that's us. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?